Hi, I'm Lassie and I'm teaching people on metal shaping and um, you probably have watched my videos many times before. Um, I appreciate that you you watch them and I hope you are you like them and learn from them. And um, in the modern world that we're living in now, people using their hands less and less. It's more computers and more cell phones and all that stuff. But I recommend to you if you like to work with your hands do whatever you can that you enjoy to do with your hands and it's it's almost becoming a lost art to to use your hands <laughs> in the modern world especially here in the, in, in the Bay Area and, and the high-tech industry but anyway I, I like to work with my hands and I will continue to do that as long as I can. Uh, and I like to develop new things, but I also enjoy to discover new things. And sometimes I just got an idea and it just comes like this. And then I go to the English Wee Bead Roller Shrink and Stretch and follow that intuition and I do it and it works. So a few weeks ago, I, I was doing a thing on, on a 33, there's a 32 uh, three window, door window frame. And I needed a little piece that was a little angle, but round. And I didn't, I didn't know how to do it but that was a question that I have how can I do that and to go to the to the anvil or the sandbag and try to hammer that out and make that little piece man it's a lots of work I I have lots of patience but if I can do something or figure something out so I can do it faster I would go for it <laughs> the more stuff or the more cars or car bodies I can do and I can create so on this video I'm going to show you uh, a thing in the bead roller but it was it was a huge um, I will not say an invention but I would say it's, it's a huge discovering thing for me to be able to do that and so quick in the bead roller as well so here I have just a 90 degrees angle and I bent that in the first in the in the sheet metal break and then I went to the stretcher and I stretched it so it, I have this profile. So let's go to the bead roller now and I'm going to show you what this is going to look like. Here is a close up of the bead roller dies that I'm going to use and it's it's a male dial 12.5 millimeter radius so it's one about one inch wide totally and the bottom die is the matching half die but i made a special shoulder on this one so it's a little little taller so i have a little more support on it before i do this i also must tell you that if you have a really small like a windshield wiper motor for your bead roller it probably will not work you need to have at least a half horsepower motor uh, on the bead roller so you have lots of torque because i cannot run this in several passes i must do it in one pass so i i put the piece in and crank it down all the way so it's it's grab the metal and then i run it and that that's that's done so if you have a weak motor small motor it will not do the job a hand crank bead roller will not do the job either so i'm standing here and i'm going to feed the piece your way so i cranked it down all the way and then i have have the 90 degrees angle here but you see it's 90 degrees bent so my intuition told me that run this angle in the bead roll and, and you will get the profile you want. So I follow my <laughs> instinct and then I, I push it in like that 
And you can see now that this one is actually round that comes out there. Okay, so this one is a little, little twisted, but that's okay, because what I'm after is this little round profile. You probably can see it better there. That's what I'm after. After I'm twisted a little bit, then, then uh, it, it's okay. So this is the round profile that I'm after. So after I did that, then I thought, I wonder what happened if I go over to the shrinker or stretcher and work on those edges now. So I did that and then I run it again and I will do that so you can see what happened. So here I'm over to the stretcher and if I take it gentle and many small steps, I can actually keep the radius. And that's pretty interesting. Let me go over to the shrinker and do that as well. So here I can do the same thing with the sh shrinker. And you can see actually that I can keep the radius pretty. It's actually easier to keep it round or with a, with a stretcher, but the shrinking, it makes it a little, little more peak, a little more sharper. So I can go over to the bead roller and I can run that again. So I'm going to run this one one more time. It looks like an S now. And then I'm going to run this one more time in the bead roller. And that little damage that I got from the shrinking in the corner there, it will go away. So there you can see that I have a, a, <clears throat> a curved one, but with a small radius. That was a piece that was, <laughs> was difficult to do that by with a hammer and a dolly. I know that I could do it, but the time and um, the result, I wish that could be better. And here I can make it smooth with a bead roller and I can get that profile. So after I discovered that on a straight piece, then I made it curved. But then I thought, what happened if I make this so I sh stretch the edge before I run it? So it's when it's 90 degrees and if I stretch the edge, what happened then? So let's do that. So here I have another piece that is 90 degrees angle, but I stretched it so it's 90 degrees that way. And now I'm going to run that and then we can see the result there. So I start on an angle there and I have the dies all the way down. So it's grab the metal. So I didn't run the whole thing and I did that on purpose so you can see so now you can see that this is round, but it's really, really sharp. So now I can make the corners on the door window frames for 32 forge in a separate piece and weld that in because it's very difficult to do that in one piece and stretch this in a curve on the door window frame a lot. So I'm really excited about to discover new things. And I can shrink and stretch this to whatever I want. But here you can see the transition over from 90 degrees to the round one. And it works really good. I'm really happy with the result. This was, this was a huge thing for me to be able to do that in a bead roller and so quick to get the result. So one thing leads to another thing and the, the more you know, the more you will discover new things, which is exciting and you got, you can do better job, you can do that faster 
and you can get more done. Even if it's just for the, your hobby or if it's for your full-time profession, that, that's both of them. So my next step was, I did the angle, I stretched it before I run it in the bead roller. Here I shrunk and stretched it after. Both of them worked. The next step was to take a wider piece with a radius. So I did that and I stretched it before, so I pre-stretched it. And then I ran it in the bead roller and here I got this, this profile. So, I was really, really excited about that. And the profile here, I don't, I don't need to follow just that profile. I can switch the dies in the bead roller to different profiles. And I can custom make the dies for that specific profile if it's something that I know that I can use for many different things. So after those three pieces, then the next step was to run both sides on the U channel. So I bent it like this in uh, both edges in the sheet metal break. And then I run this one and then I made this round and then I stretched it, I stretched it on both sides. Then I took my offset wheel, the small narrow offset wheel in English wheel and rolled this one up just a little, little bit after. So I got that little round profile. It was a little too flat. So uh, I don't know what to use it for, but now I know that I can make it if I need one one day. So <laughs> there you have three different pieces, four pi different pieces. Then I thought, what happened if I bent both edges like this, 90 degrees in the sheet metal break, and then run it in the bead roller, but only run one side? What is it that I'm going to create then? So let's do that. So same dies as before. And now I have the U channel, but I'm only going to make it round on one side. So you need to be steady with your hands here when you're feeding it in so you don't wobbling. So now you see that I have one side that is 90 degrees flat like that. And then this side is round. So now I have this profile. Little adjustments maybe with a hammer and a dolly. But I'm going to show you one more trick here now that I can use when I have the third axle in my bead roller. So let's put that third axle in the bead roller. So now to run that again, I need to adjust this one. But what happened here is that I can have support on this side here. So you see, I can adjust this in and out like that. And now it's easy to, to steer it. So I can run that between there. Now it will be more the same width of the panel because I have support from the third axle. So in this case, 
I had some marks from the from the stretcher, but I cleaned that up as well. I have a little mark because it was the height of this, it was difficult to reach into the shrink and the stretcher. So I got some of those marks here. But I can take care of that with two flat dies in the bead roller, one that is small and one that is bigger. So the small die can go inside this channel and I can flat that out instead of using the hammer and a dolly. So now we have one more profile there with one round and one sharp. And what you're going to use it for, I have no idea, but I want to teach you so you can really do a shortcut here in the, your learning curve and, and the time it takes for you to figure this out. Now you can go and you set up those dies in the bead roller and you can do it. So uh, now I have five different models that I use the same technique in the bead roller to make it 90 degrees first and then make it round in the bead roller. And I'm really happy with those profiles. And I have started to experiment with different width of them as well. And I can do both sides. I can do an angle and I can shrink and stretch so that I can go an inner curve and an outer curve. And then what I actually needed for was the, the door window frames. And here you can see a really 90 degrees this way. And it's a really small piece. So this is a little tricky to do if I'm going to hammer this out from a flat piece. It's, it will take me a while to get that profile. But I could uh, stretch it in the stretcher and run that 90 degrees and make it round. I really like that one there. There I said hours of work. But I had one more question and that was it came up in, in the middle of the night or early in the morning. What happened if I do the same thing with stainless steel? Is that possible to do? So I cut out the metal in stainless steel and uh, bent it in the sheet metal brake, both sides, and kept the plastic, the protection plastic on it. And then I run it in, in the bead roller and it worked. Then I start stretching it in the, in the stretcher uh, and it's difficult because it's so narrow, but I could bend it out a little bit and then stretch it and then bend it back So it, it worked and then I run it in the bead roll and made it around and it actually works So now it's up to you in your imagination What you're going to use this for but keep it in mind because this can be really helpful and for me that was um, uh, it, it was huge to come up with this kind of small details that I can do so you can imagine with those profiles here, now it's actually possible to do garnish moldings for 32, 33, 34, 4. It's just different profile on the dies in the bead roll. But other than that, it is actually possible to do. It will not look 100% exactly with the profile inside here as the Henry Ford made them. But the outside you can make that so that looks identical. It's just different uh, handmade dies for that profile. And it can be done. So that's what I had for today. I will be back here soon with more videos. But if you want more information about the classes and step one and step two, and uh, you can go to www.lassymetalshaping.com. And uh, if you have any question about the step two class, what you would like to learn on the step two class, go to my website under contact and send me an email and uh, let's see what you have in mind. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. See you next time.